missiles are coming faster, deadlier, smarter, from Iran to Yemen. The threats are real and rising. Israel's answer? Arrow 4. A shield born from Reagan's dream and built for tomorrow's war. Can it stop what's coming? Or is it already too late? The Israeli Arrow Missile Defense System, developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, has become a central pillar of the country's defense against long-range ballistic missile threats, particularly those emanating from Iran and its regional proxies, including the Houthis in Yemen. The Arrow is part of Israel's multi-layered air defense network, which also includes the Iron Dome, effective against short-range projectiles, and David's Sling, designed to intercept medium-range threats. Collectively, these systems form an integrated shield that has proven vital in recent months. The origins of the Arrow program trace back to a visionary question once posed by the late US President Ronald Reagan. Can you hit a bullet with a bullet? It was this challenge that inspired the development of a highly sophisticated solution to intercept incoming ballistic missiles. Now, Israel and the United States are advancing to the next phase, Arrow 4. The system will replace the older Arrow 2 over the coming decades and introduce next-generation interceptors, providing enhanced protection against emerging threats, including hypersonic glide vehicles. In 2021, Israel's Ministry of Defense issued a statement that the Arrow 4 will be the most advanced of its kind in the world and will provide a new layer of defense to the state of Israel and its citizens. The announcement was made by Jacob Galifat, General Manager of Israel Aerospace Industries Missile and Land-Based Systems Division, which serves as the principal contractor for the Arrow program. The Arrow 4 is being developed jointly by the Israel Missile Defense Organization and the US Missile Defense Agency. This collaboration comes 30 years after Israel faced Scud missile attacks during the Gulf War, a moment that underscored the necessity for a robust missile shield. The Arrow 4 missile defense system is poised to become Israel's most advanced ballistic missile interceptor to date. Designed to operate in both endoatmospheric and exoatmospheric environments, it will be capable of engaging threats both within and beyond Earth's atmosphere. With an estimated speed of over Mach 10 and a range of 2,500 kilometers, the Arrow 4 is expected to intercept a wide range of targets, including ballistic missiles, maneuverable re-entry vehicles or MRV, and hypersonic glide vehicles. Its interception accuracy will be enhanced by a sophisticated guidance system, combining advanced radar with onboard AI-driven tracking technology. The system is expected to be compatible with the Super Green Pine radar and future tracking networks, ensuring seamless integration into Israel's wider missile defense architecture. Though exact figures remain classified, the reaction time of Arrow 4 is believed to be exceptionally rapid. A vital trait for countering high-velocity threats, it will be launched from ground-based mobile platforms, enabling flexible deployment across the country. The Arrow Missile Defense System has evolved significantly since Arrow 2 became operational in 2000, defending against short to medium-range ballistic missiles. Arrow 3 followed in 2017, extending coverage to long-range threats. Arrow 4 is expected by the mid to late 2020s to counter next-generation hypersonic and advanced missiles. Speed has increased from around Mach 5 with Arrow 2 to over Mach 9 with Arrow 3 and an estimated Mach 10 for Arrow 4. Kill mechanisms have advanced from proximity blast warheads in Arrow 2 to hit-to-kill technology in Arrow 3, with Arrow 4 featuring an even more sophisticated hit-to-kill system. Radar systems improved from the original Green Pine radar in Arrow 2 to the Super Green Pine in Arrow 3, with Arrow 4 promising an enhanced AI-driven radar suite for faster, more precise tracking. Range has expanded from 90 to 150 kilometers in Arrow 2 to up to 2,400 kilometers in Arrow 3, with Arrow 4 expected to exceed 2,500 kilometers.
altitude capabilities have risen from 50 kilometers with Arrow 2 to about 2,000 kilometers for Arrow 3, including exo-atmospheric interceptions with Arrow 4 aiming for even higher altitudes. Primary targets have shifted from Scud-type missiles to ICBMs and satellite killer weapons with Arrow 3, and now to hypersonic glide vehicles and maneuverable re-entry vehicles for Arrow 4. Arrow 2 was the first successful theater missile defense. Arrow 3 introduced pure kinetic interception in space, and Arrow 4 promises AI-driven tracking with faster response times. Both Arrow 2 and Arrow 3 are deployed and active, while Arrow 4 remains in development with initial tests underway. Arrow 4, Israel's next-generation interceptor, is designed to cover an impressive maximum intercept range of around 2,400 kilometers. Russia's S-500 system has a shorter reported maximum range of 600 kilometers. The American THAAD system offers a maximum intercept range of roughly 200 kilometers, while the Patriot Pac-3, jointly developed by the USA and Germany, focuses on lower altitude defense with a maximum intercept range of about 35 kilometers. Arrow 4 operates in the exoatmospheric layer, designed to intercept threats beyond the atmosphere. The S-500 can reach altitudes between 100 and 200 kilometers, also operating exo-atmospherically. THAAD intercepts targets up to around 150 kilometers altitude, while the Patriot Pac-3 operates at much lower altitudes, between 20 and 35 kilometers. Arrow 4 interceptors travel at an estimated speed of about 2,500 meters per second. The S-500 stands out with an extremely high intercept speed of 7,200 meters per second. Thard interceptors move at roughly 5,400 meters per second, and Patriot Pac-3 interceptors are slower, at around 1,600 meters per second. Arrow 4 uses a combination of hit-to-kill and blast methods to neutralize incoming threats. The S-500, Thad, and Patriot Pac-3 systems all rely solely on hit-to-kill interception, where the interceptor destroys the target by direct impact. Arrow 4's radar can detect threats from over 800 kilometers away, giving it advanced early warning capabilities. The S-500's radar system has a range of over 600 kilometers. THAAD's radar extends even further, covering around 1,000 kilometers, while Patriot Pac-3's radar range is about 150 kilometers. Arrow 4 interceptors are estimated to cost about $62 million each. The cost for S-500 and THAAD interceptors has not been publicly disclosed. Patriot Pac-3 interceptors are significantly cheaper, with an estimated cost of around $3.7 million each. Arrow 4 is designed to tackle medium and intercontinental ballistic missiles, as well as hypersonic threats. The S-500 targets similar threats, including ICBMs, hypersonic vehicles and stealth aircraft. THAAD focuses on short and medium-range ballistic missiles, while the Patriot Pac-3 primarily defends against aircraft and tactical ballistic missiles. In the first week of May 2025, at the Air Defence Summit in Berlin, Lieutenant General Lutz Kohlhaus, Deputy Commander of the German Air Force, announced plans to acquire the Arrow for air defence system. This decision follows Germany's earlier move to deploy Arrow 3 batteries, with the first expected to become operational in northeastern Germany by the end of this year. Kohlhaus explained that Arrow 4, in combination with Arrow 3, will enhance Germany's layered air defence capabilities, especially by covering higher altitudes beyond the reach of existing Patriot systems. While the German Ministry of Defence has not yet officially confirmed the acquisition, reports indicate that the intention has been communicated to Israeli officials. The Germans are particularly interested in Arrow 4 because it can operate using Arrow 3's radar and launcher infrastructure, making it a more cost-effective addition to their defence network. This planned procurement aligns with Germany's broader efforts to strengthen its air and missile defences amid heightened security concerns in Europe following the Russian invasion of Ukraine. 
Alongside Arrow Systems, Germany continues to invest in Patriot missile batteries, Iris T short range defense systems, and F 35 fighter jets. However, Kohlhaus acknowledged manpower shortages currently limit the Air Force's operational capacity. Despite these challenges, Germany is committed to building a robust, multi-layered defence network to meet evolving threats.